welcome back to my channel it is day 16 of vlogmas i know that because i'm filming this video the day it's going up so it's today um but i wanted to film this because i've gotten a lot of requests on how i edit pictures for instagram so i'm going to quickly kind of like show you my screen i'll put it up next to me um so you can see what i'm doing i'm gonna edit two pictures um one makeup picture because that took me a long time to figure out and i know the struggle that it can be especially if you take your pictures like like if you're trying to take a selfie with an iphone you lose so much of the quality the color saturation all that so i'll show you how i do a selfie or like a makeup picture and then i will show you how i do just a regular outfit picture so without any more rambling let's get into it excuse my voice i'm coming out with a cold i just did too much this weekend i was around a ton of people germs so i'm gonna sound like this <laughs> and i'm also just sitting on the floor because i just want to be comfortable because we're just editing so without any more rambling let's get into the video okay guys so let's start with the makeup picture i'm just gonna go over here to some of my favorites and this picture is already up on instagram so we'll use that <laughs> so you can have a reference um so i pick my picture and the first app i always go to is visco v-s-c-o and you can just like uh, import like a few pictures in here so i'll go to my favorites and i'll scan down and i think this is the picture that's up so i'll import that and then i'll press this double line here and that'll take me to edit. So I have a few favorite filters. I also have the paid version of Visco. Um, so I have all of the filter options, but I have a few favorites here. You can see um, these right here. And I usually go between AL3, AL5, or A6. It just depends, you know, on the, on the picture where the photo was taken and all that and the lighting. Um, and as you can see with all of these, I love the contrast in them, but it's way too bright. So for makeup pictures specifically, I usually always have to click these double lines and turn down the exposure a lot. You see that? So now I'm starting to like actually look <laughs> the color that I am. Um, usually I can pick a filter first, but with makeup pictures, I usually have to turn down the exposure to even see like what the filter is going to look like. So I'm basically turning the exposure like all the way down and then I'll go back um, to this section and then I can kind of go through the filters. You see and now it looks like doable. Um, so for this one I do want like the whites to be very white and bright but I also want some contrast. Let's see. I think I'll go with this one AL3 because it doesn't distort um, the colors too much. You see like the red still looks um, like it's popping. And then I'm going to go into Snapseed and work on kind of my skin tone again because it's still not as brown as I want it to be. But we'll start here. So I'm going with AL3 and then I'm going to go back to the dots and I always turn up the sharpen or use the sharpen tool and just increase that a little bit because again, we want everything to pop. And then let's see, um, the other things I would use in here are like the white balance. I don't really need it because i'm going to use something else but you can go in here and kind of like go up and down if it was too warm or too cool or you wanted you know either or but i'm going to leave it alone um, for this picture so that's pretty much all i'm going to do and then actually i might turn up this, the contrast yeah i'm going to turn up the contrast a little bit so you see how it kind of makes the blacks a little blacker i like that okay so now i'm going to hit next and just save that and then we're going to go into snapseed and I'm going to import that picture I just used, which is recent. Um, so here is our picture. And the first thing I always do in Snapseed is go to Tools. And then I go to Portrait. And this just makes your face the focus of the picture. So you can kind of see already, like if I do before and after, you can see how it kind of darkened the perimeter of the picture and then made my face the focus. And then it does three things. It does, it makes your face the spotlight. Um, it smooths your skin and then it gives your eyes clarity. And you can go through and turn these up or down. So usually I turn the face spotlight down a little bit because I want the focus, but I don't want my skin to look too bright. Um, and then for skin smoothing, you can turn that up or down too. I'm going to leave it up because I'm going to sharpen this again. So it's going to help it maintain its balance, if that makes sense. Because when you sharpen the picture, it makes like your skin look kind of a little like bumpy, if that makes sense. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to, I'm also going to do the eye clarity and just bump that up a little bit. And as you can see, it just makes your eyes just look a little more intense. So we'll check that. And then I'm going to go into tools again and i'm going to go to highlights i always turn up the whites in my pictures because again i just like 
um, the brightness and then for me I use ambiance on um, makeup pictures to make my skin look browner so or more brown so I'm gonna turn that down and as you can see it kind of if I turn it up it gets a little kind of like orangey but if I turn it down it gets a little more intense and I like the intense and then I'm gonna go to brightness and also turn that down a little bit so I turn up the highlights because I like the bright white but again I turn down the brightness so that my skin looks closer to its true complexion um, and it makes the photo a little moodier too and makes the colors pop a little more so we'll check that and then you can kind of see the before and after it just looks a little more intense and we're going to export that and save it and then the last app I go to for makeup pictures is going to be Facetune and I use Facetune to add the color um, back into the photo as well because in person this red is striking and super bright and on here it's not so much so I'm going to go to retouch first and I'm going to go to details and I just like to go over um, like my eyebrows and my eyelashes and any makeup that I have even like highlight um, just to make it stand out or come up as true as it is in person so you'll see and then I have like a little highlight on my nose so you'll see a huge difference if I do before and after you see how it just made everything just a little more intense but not in a fake way because it's how it is in person uh, but again all of that gets lost in photos so I'll check that and then I'm going to go to the paint tool and select not skin because we're just going to paint my eyeshadow again to get that vibrant red. So I hit the paint and then I'm going to do this red here and then I'm just going to zoom in and lightly tap. Um, again, this is um, <laughs> this app is very strong. <laughs> so I just like to use little tapping motions so that we don't overdo it, but we just do enough. So everywhere that is red. On my eyeshadow I am tapping and you can also go back if you feel like you've done too much so if we zoom out um, you can see the before and the after and again it's just a, such a small detail but it really makes a difference because again you do all this hard work on a makeup look you want it to show up true so that looks great and then you can even see like the highlight is more intense and we're pretty much done so I'm gonna save that to camera roll and then I'll show you what the before and after looks like so that is our before so it's just super washed out the colors not showing up when I took this picture it was a really dull day the Sun wasn't out I'm standing right in front of a window um, but it's just such a dull day and again with the iPhone and the front camera it's just not showing up so you have that picture and then what we edited it to look like which is just more crisp more vibrant um, and the colors are just what they actually are in person so that is our makeup picture okay so before we move on to um, just the outfit picture again um, the three apps I use for any makeup picture and really all my editing in general is VSCO or Visco and I have the paid version which comes with all the filters which I don't need but again when I started I didn't know what I needed so um, I use VSCO I use Snapseed and then I use um, Facetune and those three apps can basically get everything done and I don't need all three for every picture it just depends um, usually I don't really need Facetune for most pictures unless um, I need to like add color or change color or something that's what I use that for the most um, I also will like whiten walls and pictures and that helps sometimes um, what else do I use Facetune for Mm, yeah anytime I need color really like if I need to I use, also use the patch tool if I want to take something out of a photo I will show you how to do that in um, an outfit picture but yeah those three apps can cover everything and I know a lot of people use like Lightroom and a lot of other things but these work for me so that's what I use okay guys so we are going to um, edit a an outfit picture now I actually just took these pictures yesterday um, so first we're going to go into VSCO again that's how I keep my theme really cohesive I pretty much use those same filters and when it comes up what you see here are pictures I've already edited <laughs> so we're gonna go to the plus sign again and um, I'm still under favorites again you can go back and forth I'm gonna go under favorites again and we're gonna edit this picture here so I've imported it and then I'm gonna hit the two lines again and start editing I had to take a screenshot of this picture to get it into my favorite so first we're gonna crop it so that it's just the regular Instagram size 
And then the first thing we're going to do is kind of go through these filters and just see which one I prefer. Again, I, I kind of have honed in on these filters over time um, and they keep my feed pretty cohesive, but it just depends on the lighting and where I'm at. Um, and that helps me determine like which filter I want. So this one I like AL3, but it makes my skin a little pink and I don't really like that. So I'm probably going to go with AL5. It's a little warmer than I would like, but I can turn that down. So. And you can also turn down the filter so you don't have to use the, the um, entire like um, brightness or I don't know the word I'm looking for, but <laughs> intensity. You don't have to use the full intensity, but I usually do because it just creates a vibe and I like it. <laughs> so we're going with AL5 and as you can see, it makes it like really just really like bright, a uh, little brighter and really like sunny, like the sun is shining and it makes the color um, of my coat pop even more. I'm going to go back to the two lines again always turn up the sharpness just a little because anything like it could look crazy like if you try to use the whole thing so we're not going to do that um but i'm just going to probably do like 2.6 or 4 yeah so we'll go there and then i don't need to mess with exposure for this one because to me the lighting is really good so i think we're actually done i actually i'm going to go to white balance and just turn it towards the blue a little to take out a little bit of that um warmth I like a little warmth, but not too much. Okay, and we're gonna hit next, and we're done there. Now we're gonna go over to Snapseed. And again, we're gonna use all of the same, pretty much the same things that we used in the last picture. So I always go to Tools, and I always start with Portrait because I like for my face to be the focus of the picture. And this also helps me see how much I need to like brighten the photo after this, because again, I don't want it too bright because then my skin tone won't be what it actually is okay so and then also it gives you options when you go into portrait um you can see all of these like you could just do smooth you could just do eyes um i usually do the combos and then everyone is different like combo three is a little more red it's way too red for me and then this one is a little too white um so i usually just stick with combo one which is what they recommend and then i usually again turn down the face spotlight face spotlight a little bit and leave everything up everything else pretty much the same um i usually will turn up the eye intensity but since i have on sunglasses i don't really need to do that so that's the before and after again just makes the perimeter of the picture darker and the spotlight on my face then i'm going to go to tools and i always go to tune image and this is where we're going to turn up the highlights again because it just makes the whites whiter and i like that and we'll see what ambiance does i, I my skin tone looks exactly the same so I don't really think I need to do anything yeah turning it down makes it too dark and then again it makes it too bright so I'm just gonna leave ambiance alone for this one and I don't think I need to turn down the brightness either um, I'm pretty happy with just like the amount of light that's in this picture so I'm gonna leave that and then I'm gonna to go to tools and details and just sharpen a little more because I just like my pictures to look very crisp I like them to like look like they're gonna jump through <laughs> the camera um, or the phone so I like that and then I'm going to export this and then we're going to go over to Facetune. Now for this picture I'm going to use the smooth tool because it's winter and I did not shave this day so don't judge me um, but I'm going to smooth my legs just a pinch because yeah I, I, I needed to shave on this picture and that's just the magic of editing people. <laughs> so here is our picture. I'm gonna go to retouch I'm gonna go to smooth and then just kind of zoom in on my legs like you like when you zoom in you can literally see that I needed to shave so um listen I was busy I just I, I didn't have time I didn't have time okay um but again I don't like it to look too fake so you can see that's the before that's the after and actually I'm gonna soften this a little bit because I don't need the whole thing but I just need you to not see my stubble please and thank you so I'm gonna do halfway and I'm also gonna smooth um, my coat a little bit cuz I just got this and it's like out of the package like has wrinkles in it and I didn't have time to like let those fall out so we're gonna check that one because we only did like half smooth I'm gonna go back into the smooth tool again because I want the full smooth power for my coat but I didn't want that for my skin that makes sense so anywhere that there's like mass wrinkles and this isn't like a magic tool it's not gonna take out every wrinkle um but it will help so if you go back and kind of see like the intensity of the wrinkles is gone um so that looks better and you can do this as many times as you want but i think that is good enough 
Um, also, let me show you how to use the patch tool. So this is if you want to get rid of something in your photo, which here I don't really need to, but I just want to show as an example. So you just scroll all the way over, hit patch. I'm going to zoom in on this little mark down here if I just really wanted perfection in this picture. So tap the screen and it gives you these two little circles. So what you want to do is put one circle on what you want that area to look like, if that makes sense. And then put the other circle on what you're trying to get rid of. So here I'm trying to get rid of that brown spot. So I put the other circle there. And as you can see, it's almost gone and it's starting to look like this other circle. And then I'm going to go to softness and turn that down. So that like makes it completely go away. And you can make the circles as big or as small as you want. And then hit check. And now that is gone. You can see before and after of our picture. Um, and then sometimes I would go in and maybe, let's see what else we can do. We can go into details here if I just wanted things to pop a little more and I could go over my eyes, I could go over my hair, and this just kind of does what Sharpen does, but for a specific um, item. I could go over like the emblem on my shoes and just make it a little crisp and I could turn that up or down. But that is pretty much our photo, so I'll save that and I will show you the before and the after. So this was our picture before. Um, it's a great picture. Again, I use a Canon T6i and a Sigma 18 to 33 millimeter lens. So pretty basic camera, um, and I just kind of upgraded the lens. So a good quality picture to start, um, but it takes it from that to that. So just more bright, more vibrant, um, more focus on my face, and more focus on all the details. Does that help? Of course, if you stuck around this long, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell notification so you never miss a video. Um, let me know if you have any other questions or there's something I didn't cover. Um, sorry, this was kind of hard to do, like <laughs> trying to talk to the camera and like do it and show you. Um, but I hope that this will help you kind of edit your pictures for Instagram. Um, let me know if you also want to see one on um, editing videos and I can figure out how to do that too. Or if we need a part two and there's like something specific that I didn't cover, just let me know below. <laughs> um, but thank you so much. Um, thank you for all the positive feedback on Vlogmas. This is my first Vlogmas. Um, I've only been on YouTube since March and it is a lot, but it is so fun. And I just feel like we're connecting so much more because it's not just like outfit videos, like it's just life. So thank you so much for watching and stopping by. See ya.